We are going to install MongoDB on Windows. To be specific, I am installing the latest MongoDB Community Edition, which is 6.0.2 on Windows 11. But the procedure should be very similar if you have other versions of Windows, such as Windows 10 and other MongoDB editions. So let's go to our internet browser and search for MongoDB Community, which is the free version available for download. Click this and you should see this page. Now, to effectively use MongoDB as a new or intermediate user, you need three pieces of software. The first one is MongoDB Community Server and select the current version, platform and package should be MSI. Click download and we need two other software. The first one is MongoDB Shell. It only comes as a zip, so we download that. And lastly, we need MongoDB database tools. We also can get it as zip. So we downloaded all three. Now we need these three software to start working with MongoDB. So let's start installation. Now we are going to install the first is MongoDB Windows 6.0.2. We are going to do the complete installation and please make sure to select install MongoD as a service. This will make things a lot easier. So just keep it default. Then next, we are going to also install MongoDB Compass. Next, and then install. Now that we see our MongoDB installation is completed, click Finish and for some users it might ask you to restart your computer in that case please go ahead and restart restart your computer after you restart you should see mongodb compass uh, should work like this and you should be able to click connect and it is going to connect to local host with the port number 27017 so let's go ahead and try if this works So it appears that everything is working and you should see this prompt. So it says Mongo SH and we get a test prompt here. Now to see if MongoDB is working correctly, we can type in a few commands. So let's do show DBS and yeah, it works. We can see the databases. We can go inside one of the databases. So I can go use admin. So MongoDB is working. A nice thing about MongoDB Compass is you can type the commands right here and it also shows you the possible commands. So you get those command suggestions like you get in any IDE. So you do not truly need any other software. Uh, also you cannot actually uh, exit from right here. So this should be fine for now and you can again restart that so you can see in, on, in my start menu I have MongoDB Compass. If I click that it will bring up MongoDB again. You just click connect and it starts Mongo SH. Now although this is sufficient for a lot of users I recommend installing the database tools. So let's go ahead and install that because this is required for importing and exporting files and a few other tools. I'll show you what they are. So click MongoDB database tools 100. Accept. Next. Install. 
Now the installation was pretty easy, but uh, there could be some issues accessing the tools. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that you can access those tools uh, easily. Now we have one last thing to install and that is the Mongo shell or Mongo SH. We downloaded that as a zip file so we cannot just install from right here. So we're going to do extract all. Select extract. And we go inside that and you can see we have these tools. So we have to make sure that we can access this shell from our command line. I'm going to show you how to do this. So go to your C drive, program files, and MongoDB, tools 100, and then bin. So this location shows you a lot of those tools that we got from the MongoDB database tools. These tools are very helpful for exporting files. For instance, this one, Mongo export, this allows you to export JSON files from your MongoDB databases. Mongo dump, this is useful for backing up your database. Mongo files, you can install, like import files, things like PDF, images, videos using this. Mongo import, you can import JSON files. Mongo restore, it can help you to restore the backups that you made. So you get the idea. So these are a few tools that will help you to manage your databases better. Now to access the tools, of course you could come here, but that gets really inconvenient. So you should add this location to your path so you can easily access them from anywhere on your computer. To do that, you have to add this location. So C program files, MongoDB tools, then a 100 bin to the, your paths. So you click in the uh, address bar, right click and copy. Then go back to the PC, right click here, properties, and go to advanced settings, environment variables. Then within the environment variables, you can see path, select new. Or you could probably do edit, that's better. Now, within this location, you can see I have already added a server location, but we are going to create a new one. So select new and simply paste the location that we copied. So MongoDB tools 100 bin. And that's all you need to do. Select OK, OK, and OK. So we are done. At this time, we got MongoDB uh, tools installed. The MongoDB shell is available to us. We haven't installed it. But we also need to point our uh, path variable to this location so that we can access the tools. So I'm going to copy this location here and do the same thing again. So I go back to this PC, properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, path, edit, new, and then paste. OK, OK, OK. So what happens next is, of course, we can access MongoDB Compass like we did before from this location, but because we installed those additional tools, we can also access that from our command line. And that can be helpful, especially as you move uh, to more advanced concepts. So right click and select command prompt or Windows PowerShell, or you could just type com, and that will give you the command prompt. We go inside the command prompt, and now if I type in mongo sh, I get the mongo shell. And you can see this looks very similar because I can type in the exact command that I can 
inside MongoDB Compass. So if I just show DBS, I get that result. Same thing that we saw before. So if I do show DBS, I can do that. Now I can also exit out of here and I can try some of the other tools. Like, of course, this is not going to work, but I can do Mongo import or Mongo export. Those tools can be used from here. So if I try Mongo, so for instance, Mongo dump, this shows that done dumping admin system version. That means I have backed up my databases. So you can use all the database tools from your command line now. I'm going to show you how to use other tools uh, in future videos. But for now, everything is working and you can go ahead and explore MongoDB. Thank you.